On Monday, we've, as we've heard, we learned that Stephen Smith, the Liverpool man whose emaciated body, which is reminiscent of, of somebody being found in a concentration uh, camp, uh, not of 21st century Britain, had died in multi uh, as a result of multiple organ failure after being found fit for work. And we know he's not the first. We, we heard from our honourable friend Jeff Hayward, who died in, in 2018 of a heart attack, seven days before a tribunal overturned a decision that he was fit for work. Jimmy Ballantyne, again in 2018, committed suicide after being found uh, fit for work, along with Amy N Nice, Kevin Dooley and Brian Bailey. Jodie Whiting, my honourable friend's constituent, Elaine Morrell, Daniela Beng, Brian Sycamore, all committed suicide in 2017 as a result of being found fit for work. Mark Schofield, in July 2017, a terminal uh, cancer patient, didn't receive any universal credit before he died in spite of his illness. Chris Gold in 2017 was also found fit for work following a stroke. He was facing foreclosure on his home when he died as he couldn't work. Lawrence Bond died in 2017, collapsing and dying on the street after being found fit for work. Julia Kelly in 2015 committed suicide, as did Ben MacDonald in 2015. Chris Smith, who had cancer, was found fit for work and, uh, and was right up until his death despite terminal cancer. David Clapson died in 2014, Michael Connolly in 2014, George from Chesterfield as a result of a heart attack, again being found fit for work. Robert Barlow, again a terminal claimant, died after losing his ESA. David Barr in 2014, Trevor Drappard, Sean Pilkington, Terry McGarvey, Lee Robinson, Robert Christian, Jacqueline Harris, Nicholas Par Peter Parker, and David Groves. Sir Henry, this isn't an exhaustive list, but these names are an absolute indictment on this government and this government's policy, and the lack of change that has happened as a result of these uh, deaths. There needs to be an independent inquiry, just as Jodie Whiting's mother ha has said, into the deaths of claimant being found fit for work. Until then, then it should be a moratorium on all reassessments. And for new assessments, as has already been said, medical ev evidence should be the primary data that is used, not these blatantly formed flawed assessment processes. Sir Henry, any government's first duty, I'm sure you will agree, is to protect their citizens. For our disabled citizens, this government has spectacularly, has spectacularly failed them. Like millions of people across the country, I condemn the attacks in Sri Lanka, and I share concerns about the emergency that is climate change. But the deaths of disabled people as a result of a, go a government policy are nothing more than a scandal. And I challenge each and every one of us in this room and outside to rise and say to them, enough is enough. Yeah.